immediately that you're a foreigner. And I mean, is it all big bam? Are they all in on it? Are they all in on it? Meaning, like, well, yeah. I mean, I think I think the, the the people that look that part of Pakistan is completely dominated by Afghan refugees, by Pashtun refugees who are you know who've been there for almost thirty years, for actually for thirty years this year, and who are totally sympathetic to the Taliban who hate the West. And they are clearly covering for some of Bin Laden. There's really no no question about that. I mean, but Tuck, I mean, couldn't we? I mean, because you know, war ain't pretty. If you if you you know if you if you kind of barbaric it on up, and this is the you know most wanted man in the world, you know, we probably have a pretty good idea of a fairly large region area that he is. Can't we just go in and just throw all kinds of bombs down there, and there could be nothing that could survive that period? Well, I think we tried that at Tora Bora. I mean, the truth is, um, even if you use nuclear weapons, people can go underground and survive. Yeah, the terrain, I mean, the terrain there is what's really your obstacle. Is it's really the, 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 the I mean, we have to have some bombs that can blow up mountains now. I mean, we got to have some bombs that will that will level mountains. I mean, Jesus, I got to think that you know, Brent, like a uh, the atom bomb, or or, or the, we have to have stuff that just makes complete, you know, that disintegrates everything, including mountains. Well, I mean, I guess we could probably we could we could surround the region with which would probably take every single member of the U.S. Armed Forces, including reserves, and then just kill every living thing within go. the boundaries of that area. I'd say, you know what? Here it is. Here's the deal, man. You got uh, officially 48 hours to get out of there, and uh, and and, and boom. Well, then then, 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 See, then, then, then you're it, giving him time. You're yeah. giving him too much warning. Yeah. You know, they they had them at the, the mistake at Tora Bora. The tactical mistake was not covering the backside of the mountain with American troops yeah. and letting the Afghans do it. Right. That, right. That's, that's right. That was the tactical problem. Uh, mistake. Well, at Tora it was always the problem when you you know foreign troops or third country nationals or whatever. We, non-Americans are never going to be obviously as reliable as American troops, and that was. You know, clearly in retrospect, that was a big mistake. You got two minutes. I got two. I got one other question. Take about two minutes. Uh, yeah. I wanted to get your opinion down here. Uh, Manson's been covering this now. It's been going on since '05, and and I'm really sick and tired. I think you and I talked about this a couple weeks ago about you know McDonald's and, and big time corporations that just get wrongfully sued by these litigious ambulance chasing just ah. just the problem in itself, right? With the judicial exactly. system and how you know the uh, buffoon one George W. Bush came on there in one of his very first State of the Union addresses and said, "Hey, well, tort reform, tort reform." And God, we so desperately need that so that things like this don't happen. Yesterday, uh, in a suburb of this area, Dade City, there was this guy named Anthony Mikowski, okay? Uh, and he uh, was in a McDonald's drive through Not even the inside portion of McDonald's, the outside portion, the drive through This happened a few years ago. And the cops investigated this and, and determined that he was the aggressor, this this Anthony Mikowski guy. So he's beeping and, and yelling at the guy in front of him. He gets out of the car, and he starts messing with this guy in front of him, okay? This guy happens to be a you know a trained Army kind of guy. Well, the bad guy, Mikowski, takes the Army guy and throws him down on the ground and body slams him and batters Ooh. him. And, ba- and batters him. Well, the Army guy said that's cute, picks up, finally reverses it, and chokes this Mikowski guy to death. Wow. Well, I guess yeah. he shouldn't have fooled with the army guy. Right. Huh? Exactly. So <laughs> now, so here it gets better. So they, uh, the, the 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 fine police, they investigate it. They don't put any charges on this guy. The death was ruled an excusable homicide. No, no charges were filed. He was cleared criminally. Done. Right. Well, then yeah. some stupid ass uh, uh, lawyer, uh, Kurt uh, Obrant. Uh, files against the plaza and McDonald's saying that they should have had security through the drive through and they get a jury to reward this Mikowski's mom and dad a million dollars. No way. Yes. Can you... Does that not just make your skin crawl? I think it's disgusting. Why would the parents do a million dollars? Well, they said that McDonald's should have had security in the drive through It's their but responsibility. I'm like, but even if they should have had security, why would he be wor- I mean, why would they get a million dollars? Why would they get money? For pain and suffering. Well, that's just disgusting. Yes. That's beyond disgusting. It really is. It is It is just absolutely... Who are these people? Who's the lawyer? See, I think there ought to be some website or TV show devoted to giving the names and home address and phone numbers. It said, uh, it said uh, they were awarded $1 million to the parents of the former high school football player for their pain and and suffering. Well, that's just disgusting. And the, and the plaza, the the plasma, the plaza that the little shopping strip that the McDonald's is in, and McDonald's is equally responsible uh, for this. And to me, man, I just I, you know, 
it, it, it deters you from even trying to be a, a small business owner, knowing that you have these stupid ass attorneys laying in the woods at all times, ready just to pounce on you if something bad happens. I mean, God forbid that somebody finds the guy that you know that 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 the cops investigated Brent that got out of his car that initially body slammed the the, uh, the former army guy. I mean, that's in itself where all. All the liability lies. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. And nobody. If I was McDonald's, I would appeal this and sue them for tainting their good name. Yeah, and wouldn't I, you, Tucker? Wouldn't you? Oh, are you kidding? I, no matter how much it took. And by the way, it also has another effect, which is to convince Americans that the way you get rich is by suing other people. Exactly. That's, you're exactly right. And nobody's explaining that's me. the problem. You know what, Tucker? That's the bigger issue. I know. This, you know how you get rich is by. Being smart and working really hard and like denying yourself pleasure in the short term for a long term gain. It's a pretty unpleasant unpleasant process actually. But it's really just, hard. It's just and the way it convinces is. people that it's easy, you just hire a lawyer and you get rich. I mean you watch daytime T V and every ad is for some ambulance chaser. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, Tucker, nobody's explained to me how money exactly alleviates pain or suffering. Well that's a that's a great point. That's a complete that's a great point. In fact you could make the case that if you wanna I mean I don't know. Why, why not, instead of rewarding the person who's been injured, why don't they punish the person who caused the injury? Well, I said, you know what? Why don't they, why don't they inst instead, you know, really blame who this, who should be blamed? And that's Wayne and Kathy Mikowski for being bad parents and raising a kid that would have this type of mentality that you can get out of a car and beat up a guy. Exactly. There's no, the people. That's exactly right. Because juries don't want to punish anybody. Juries want to give money to people and make them feel better. Why didn't the jury find them responsible and make them pay Brent, the Army guy, for the pain and suffering he had to go through while, re while rehabbing his, you know, his injuries and his parents? That's that's a good and, point. And the humiliation this has been to McDonald's and how much how many people have not gone to that McDonald's because that fight happened there, the loss of business. Yeah, and none of it was McDonald's fault. You can't control what goes on in your parking lot. You know, lot. Tucker, this didn't even happen in the dining room area. This was in the parking lot. How can that be? That's just unbelievable. Well, it can be because juries, you know, have <clears throat> jury, I mean, who sits on juries? You know, d a lot of dumb people, and they <laughs> they imagine. No, I'm serious. No, that is because if you're not dumb people, and if they you're imagine, not smart enough to get out of jury duty, then you're dumb. No, but they imagine that you know that they're. There's, that money's coming from somewhere. They don't know where it's coming from. Actually, it's probably coming from, like, the immigrant franchisee owner, some guy who, like, right. you know, has got nine mortgages and is trying to, you know, working 18 hours a day. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it just it, you know what? It makes my skin crawl. It makes me sick at my stomach to know that this sort of thing can happen in our country. That, that That's just a huge problem. Well, of course. Of course. Of course it's happening. I mean, this is, I don't know. Hey, if anyway, I were president, that's, I think tort reform is the first thing I would do. By the way, speaking of, you know, if you want to hate rich people, if you want to feel like class envy, take a look at the trial lawyers. I mean, that's like oh, those people. Really, ah, and, at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, Tucker, let's not forget that this Kurt Obrant guy just got three hundred and thirty-three thousand some thousand dollars on this ruling. You know, you know, he took it on. In, in my opinion, probably took it in on the vig, like like they all these, oh, of course. like all these Always. ambulance chasers do. And, and Brent, that starts at thirty, anyway, between twenty-five and forty points. So this guy just made him a nice little three hundred some thousand dollar payday. That that yeah. that's that's a problem. It's disgusting. Look at some it's of the attorneys disgusting. and the money they've made Brent on big tobacco settlements. My God. Yeah. Well, all the money went to lawyers. I yeah. mean, I don't think there was a single emphysema patient or lung cancer patient who got rich from this, but there were a lot of lawyers who did. Yeah, like how was that fair? Like all the people in the class action suit got like 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, but by the way, why should anybody get money? It says no. on the pack, and it has since 1964, that this can kill you. And you're stupid if you don't know that smoke didn't, is bad Didn't John Edwards get a bunch of money from a bunch of wrongful deals, like a, girl, a person that got sucked up by a jacuzzi yeah. or something like that? Something like that? Anyway, Tucker. Yeah. You, you got you got to as you get your weekly schedule. If you could get it to Brent and yeah, could, I will. I totally will. Thank you guys. Got, I will as soon as I get my life together. It's just well, this summer's like just a lot of traveling, know, the documentary stuff, and tough. putting our site together. But fly you know. fishing in Maine and and picking mushrooms uh, in, in in Michigan and things like that. It's tough, Tuck. We understand. We get it. it. Really is. It really is. We hard. really are just Especially really. Especially this morning, I'm going to go. You know, maybe catch a few more trout. I almost got one last night, but uh, we uh we're just really appreciative that you pay. You know, a little bit of time you know, to us to us smaller people, and that you that you throw us a bone from time to time. You know, if I didn't have a director of scheduling who worked for me here, one of my manservants, I, I wouldn't actually make it on the show. But thank God I do. Exactly, we get Brent, the director of scheduling, always kicks us to the weeds. Tucker sticks up for us. So those are my boys, I know they're, they're I know they're vir virtually, you know, they're they're non-existent. They don't mean anything in the world. But throw, keep throwing those guys apart. I like those guys. <laughs> hey, we love you, buddy. 
You guys are absolutely the best. And call me, Brent, about coming down there. I'd love okay. to. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Tucker. Thanks, guys. Bye now. See- 